Hello everyone, a selection of the best chases for the year 2022, part one. Enjoy watching it. I really hope you'll support me. Thank you. The video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Your comments and criticisms are always welcome. For these videos, I once again want to thank Police Pursuits. The links to the originals will be in the description. The first scene is a chase for a stolen truck which involved many police officers. Unfortunately, there is a problem with the sound in this video because the sound in half of the video will not match the car from where the footage is taken. You may notice a rare thing. A police Dodge Challenger takes part in the chase. Unfortunately, the Chevy Tahoe did not have enough weight for a successful pit maneuver. Seeing the empty space, 
The police officers decided to stop the truck at all costs. Unfortunately, due to YouTube rules, I can't show you the whole moment of the arrest, but the link to the original will be in the description. On January 22, 2022, Deputy Richard DeMarco was in the area of South Highway 441 and Southeast 147th Street in Summerfield when he observed a Honda sedan without a license plate attached. The car was pulling into the Circle K parking lot as Deputy DeMarco was leaving, so he pulled behind the Honda. The driver, Joshua Peters, immediately drove in between the gas pumps and the chase began. Dog, 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 dog. 
After a brief foot chase, the suspect was arrested. Unfortunately, the reason for the chase is not known. Middleton and Nams. But fortunately, almost immediately, the suspect made a fatal mistake and damaged his wheel and suspension by hitting the curb. We're on airport now, he's failing to stop for me. All units, 263, C9 at 1240. He's not driving erratically, he's got a blow out. At this point, the suspect decided to stop for some reason. Perhaps he decided to be guided by common sense? We're crossing those lodge. Hey, show me your hand. Throw that window down. Roll the window down. Put your stand, hands out the window. Because I told you to. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. No, he thought it would help him get away from the police. Back north down on the airport. Oh, no. And also, JPD Show me your hands! I got him pit out. He's refusing to fly. Show me your hands! Okay, he's able to get away from me. Back northbound on airport. Correction, northbound on airport.
up to Jonathan now. And looks like we're turning north on east on Johnson. After a foot chase, the suspect was arrested. Here, 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 Dex, here. Come here, here. On Thursday, April 14th, 2022, Corporal Mike Mitchell recognized the driver of a passing pickup truck as Dylan. Knowing Dylan was wanted on felony warrants, Corporal Mitchell attempted a traffic stop. His name is Dylan V. Victor Echo India Tango Hotel. Station 1033. You just ran, Kilo. Stand by. You just ran, Kilo. He's still westbound. But Dylan decided to give chase while ramming a police car. Battery unit on Leo, he just ran my control car. Are you 10-4? 4-1, I'm gonna give your unit up. Going up to 200th Avenue. 200th Avenue. Heading north on 200th Avenue. North on 200th Avenue. Send me some more units, man. He's a single forward in a tree at the end. Uh, 19,900 block. Driver! 19,900 block, signal for into a tree, 156. Turn around! Walk back slowly! Don't you look back at me! Keep walking backwards! Keep walking backwards! Get down on your knees, interlock your ankles! You move, you're getting dog bit! After being arrested, he decided to excuse himself by saying that he thought they weren't real cops. Unfortunately, the reason for the chase is not known. And unfortunately, the policeman did not have enough space for a successful pit maneuver, and it could have ended very quickly. Inbound on Mill Creek, sucking up, caught up with the guy that we're all taking off. 
And fortunately for the police, the suspect chose the wrong road. It all started with the fact that the driver was speeding. As it turned out later, when talking to the police, he had no driver's license or ID card. And after he was arrested, they found a gun in his car. At this point, you might have thought this cop wouldn't catch up with him, but keep watching because he drives great. As always, I'll speed up the monotonous moments for you. I'll leave the rest of the video without commentary. Just enjoy watching how he drives.
In case anyone didn't understand why they did it, it was so the car wouldn't suddenly roll over on its roof and crush someone. Hi, thanks for the question. No, I'm not an Aerosmith fan, but I will listen to their songs intermittently. About the logo, it's funny that you noticed it. I never paid attention to it. Why is it defensive? Since the war began, Ukraine has launched numerous counterattacks and liberated a huge portion of its territory. And we don't need the territory of another country. We are not Russia.